So hi, Eric. Hello. Uh, we are here at uh, the landscape booth, and you've got what's well, a really interesting device here because you, it's entirely passive, right? Yeah. So um, it there's no power supply. Um, instead, what you're utilizing is incoming CV and gate voltage um, to individually power each of the eight analog circuits, and. Uh, you're essentially hearing the power cycles of those circuits and sort of trying to increase uh, instability. Um, so musical instability, I like to call it, um, and just sort of give things a lot more movement uh, and get sort of to a modular realm if you want it to, or get to a more sort of traditional drum uh, synth sound if you need that. Um, and also like going between the two quickly. Because it is, it is you're, you are presenting it more as a drum synthesizer, right? Or yeah. Like, like a drum machine, I guess. Yeah, yeah, like a, a drum brain, I guess you would call it. But you can also utilize each of the voices as like a synthesizer-ish. But I say ish because uh, they're so unstable that you get big, you can get big jumps in pitch, but also in in texture and timbre, and you can get things where it sounds like it's almost about to shut down, or literally is shutting down because of voltage being starved, or you can link the channels together and sort of get um, different interactions, and they borrow voltage from one another with these uh, touch buttons, I mean these latching buttons here. Um, so it's about creating uh, movement between voices, and then you have CV uh, mute buttons along the top. Uh, which are, those are dedicated to the even and odd CV inputs here, which I have coming from the uh, BeatStep Pro. And uh, what that does is it sort of allows uh, voltage, more voltage sharing between voices and more intermovement, I guess you would say. Um, and you can also do really intense drone stuff with this as well when you're sending a constant voltage um, and the voices start to interact with each other. And it's, can get incredibly textural and 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 it's sort of like you have a, you use like a sequencer or your rack as your basis or backbone of stability but then you can get into really intense territory and have a simple sequence turn into something very not simple and sort of organic and insane so was this um, was this something that you kind of had been thinking about for a while or is it is it something that just kind of came up because you happened on something that worked without uh, without a power supply? Uh, I just, I like the idea of, um, it, it, I had the idea in early 2019, and uh, I just like the idea of, there's all these uh, voltage sources now, right, because of like an explosion of electronic musical instruments, and just thinking of them as a sound source, even though they're not. They're a very boring sound source, you would say. So it's sort of like thinking them as thinking of them as a basis, and then just allowing them to expand by directly using them as direct as possible from the source, if that makes sense. So should we should we hear yeah. a bit of it? Yeah. So I can like. I could just go through and like show like that's like you know uh, this is like a triangle uh, like a sawtooth wave oscillator essentially on the first one so like you can get it to like do some really really like juicy stuff um, in a certain mode and then I change the mode and it becomes hopefully you can hear that okay it's a very slow saw wave but then with like an extra bit of oomph. So you could utilize it sort of as a kick as well in that mode, or you can utilize it as like modulation when you link it with other channels, or when it's in like um, like a drone mode, you can start to wrap this. You can link this channel, channel one to channel eight, and channel eight to channel one, and get things to sort of feed back on themselves and create a lot of movement. So um, I'll just keep going, moving faster. Um, and then it's like sort of a ping filter as your second one, and then. Then when you turn on the CV voltage um, input, then it's a constant. And you can turn, you can get it to the edge of oscillation and then turn that off. So that happens with a lot of the voices. It's sort of on the edge of stability, right? And so you can get a lot of broken sounds or you can get a more, um, a more familiar sound if you want as well. Um, so then when I like, let's, I'll just, I'll mute everything and just play like, Oh, we're still getting some. So you can just hear like 
this one pinging away, for example. And you can also send audio into that channel as well. Like you could send like a drum machine um, and use it as like a pseudo VCA or a filter. It's very dirty sounding. And then um, if I start to unmute other channels. Um, sorry, very loud. like Simmons type sounds or whatever, but then you start sending it um, additional CV and the CV acts as like an additional power. So you're getting more power to the circuit and you're also getting modulation. So it's all about confusing the ideas of like what is modulation, what is sound, what is power, because when you link them together, they're sending all of that to each other. Does, so. that, does that create a, um, any issues with like volume at the end of chain and things like that? So it's quite unpredictable, right? Yeah, so the, the unpredictability is a thing. So using a compressor after it is nice um, because of those volume jumps that can happen. Uh, and also, if you get want more predictability in terms of volume levels, you can use uh, indiv individual outputs. So there's eight individual outputs along the top here, and it takes it away from the main outputs um, once you start using that. And the main outputs are actually the, e the even channel and the odd channel, the odd channels. But then when you utilize the even channel output, it, it's a mono. But there's a lot of fighting of volumes, you know, when you get everything going out of the, the sum, because it's passive and it's non-linear and they're always fighting each other. So it's like pseudo compression stuff happens. Um, let's see if we can hear more stuff. Yeah, so each channel has its own characteristic and can get really intense sounding. Um, and uh, some are sort of symbol-esque. But then for example, if I use this symbol channel and I'm sending it at a constant voltage, like this next channel, and I'm sending it at constant voltage. That gives you an idea of how like on the edge everything is from like ceasing to, to function kind of a thing. And then if I start playing more things at once, um, Start introducing some CV to that. Probably have a bass boost. And you start getting a lot of um, intensity happening and um, and strange results. And you can quickly get it to be almost too much, you know, if you want it to be. Um, And then I can turn on, let's see. So you're never gonna get 12 tet, you know, and there's no 12 tone things happening here. It's all microtonal, um, and that's that's just because there's not enough stability to offer anything like that, but I prefer stuff like that anyway. So are, uh, are these uh, touch plates as well? Yeah, and so the touch plates are, um, it's not something to rely on in terms of function because of the um, because of the passive de design. So it's they're dependent on how much voltage and where it's being sent to. So like if you're sending it short triggers, you're not going to get much out of them. But if you're sending it like a longer, you know, um, <laughs> um, there you'll start to get more um, more interaction out of it for longer like drone stuff and, and longer gates. So uh, it's, it's really dependent on what, 
to a certain extent, it's dependent on what goes in to yeah. what is going to come out. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and what you're using. So, yeah. like, for example, I find, like, the BeatStep Pro is good because it sends... Well, it's any 12 volt gates, which helps, um, but it'll work with five volt gates with your rack and stuff. Uh, but it's about the current that's going with it. So this sends also a, a nice amount of current. Your rack stuff is generally sending a good amount of uh, juice with it. And so it's happy. Um, Brilliant. And then, so if I go to like, if I can go to other channels and show you how intense, t intensely strange it can get. This this one has like some really intense like vocal characteristics, and it's sort of like blurring the lines between um, using a voice as a synthesizer or as a rhythmic element, and just depending on how long the gate is, you send it, or sort of how you handle it, it's how it comes across. So I like when things are sort of in between, um, and you know. A lot of people wouldn't consider that a synthesizer sound per se because it's so broken, but I guess I do. Um, and then when you go to another channel, it's like a more clear sort of in between a rhythmic element and a synthesizer like bass sound. So because it's passive, like I'm sending it above, normally like above middle C on this, for example, because it's a positive voltage and you're, you're sending an additional power. Um, so, um, I mean, it's amazing uh, the uh, range of sounds that you're able to get from, yeah, without a power supply and just using what's coming in. Yeah, I wish I could actually show you. It's there's so many that it's hard. You know, I'm not showing you barely anything right now, but if you go to the website, there is a, an insane amount of uh, variation and way too many audio examples to listen to uh, on the website as well. So um, is this available now or are you kind of in the process? What's, what's the kind of roadmap for this? Uh, right now, we're the first two pre-order groups sold out. Um, so we're, we're starting, you know, production is, is in swing and will be more in swing next month and then by maybe mid-August or so, maybe we'll open up uh, pre-order group three, and uh, and also it'll start to like send to dealers and stuff as well at that point. And uh, we'll what see. is what is the kind of price point? For this? It's uh, 680 US dollars. Brilliant. Well, Eric, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it.